hey what is up guys and in this video i want to talk about what is firebase what can you do with it and everything all of the good stuff so this is the firebase uh, official website if you go to firebase.google.com you will find this website May let me make this full screen <coughs> so what is firebase and what uh, you can do with <coughs> firebase oh, sorry about that <coughs> so firebase is a complete backend solution to make mobile apps ios app <coughs> iOS apps, Android apps, and uh, apps for the <coughs> you know website. Web apps, Android, and iOS app. These are the three things that you can build with Firebase without uh, having a backend server or uh, anything. You don't have to manage any databases. Everything is managed by the Firebase, so it is kind of cool. You don't have to worry about any of the anything about the database authentication and they have a storage solution as you can see if i go to in here so a comprehensive mobile development platform it says it's saying that mobile development platform but it is you cannot uh you can build like other stuff uh, including mobile development as you can see in here well, is they are saying web support and unity and c plus plus or you can do like unity with sleep c plus plus or c sharp whatever language they support and uh, also iOS and Android so this is kind of a complete black and solution so you can just uh, write your apps uh, you don't have to worry about any of the backend server stuff and they their main goal is to like you uh, uh, their main goal is that a developer should focus on building an app rather than managing all the servers and databases that uh, because it takes a lot of time to like manage database servers as you can see they have all of those things in here authentication hosting they have cloud storage real time databases machine learning kit i will cover everything in, in this video what are these and what you can <coughs> do with all of this stuff so cloud first to let's start with cloud first i will not cover any of this in here i will just cover this list build better apps so cloud first to is the database is the it is a noise call database so it is a new as you can see it's beta so it's in it's not published yet but you can use it it is in test mode i think and then cloud file store uh, lets you store uh, data as like a string number booleans and everything takes data you cannot store images with uh, cloud file store for that we need cloud storage and this pretty much it and machine learning is like machine learning is like a trending topic right now so everybody wants to <coughs> everybody wants to like implement a machine learning in their a mobile app so if you want to do that uh, if you want to do something like that you can go also do that with firebase and cloud functions these are also kind of nice functions so you can run mobile as you can see they are saying that run mobile backend code without managing servers because you don't have to manage any of the servers so this kind of cool and then authentication as you can as you know login system authentication just means uh, how uh, you log in with email and uh, passport also facebook login google login they also support github and uh, a lot of stuff i will show you that in hosting to like host your app in firebase you don't have to like many servers and cloud storage just means storing in kind of like data like images photos videos everything like that and real time database this is this was a database for the, of the past i think they will delete this real time database after they publish cloud fire store because it is gaining more popularity and it is kind of cool so let's see the pricing so pricing plans it is the pricing of firebase is just awesome because you don't have to pay anything it is completely free the spark plan is free and the, there is a flame plan and the bless plan so you after you like build an app like let's say you are targeting you are a iOS developer so you build an app for iOS and then you just publish it in the app store if your app gets like if your app is kind of <coughs> If your app is uh, popular and then you can scale your servers just you can you can just buy this uh, uh, flame plan you have to pay 25 dollars a month i think it's worth it and then the blessed plan is pay as you go if you have like millions and millions of uh, billions of users you can pick this so it's kind of cool if you your app doesn't have any like it doesn't get popular you, do, you have nothing to lose because they are which will be free and uh, this pricing i like the way that firebase is, is pricing everything as you can see in here it's kind of cool and then let's look at the documentation the firebase documentation is really nice as you can see they have a 
Firebase documentation by platform. So get started for Android, iOS, and the web, and Unity and C++. As you can see, it's kind of cool. So you can uh, hosting is only for like web supported uh, websites. You can you do not have to host, host your app, right? So that's kind of cool. And then that's pretty much what Firebase is. Let me go to the console if you have an account on Firebase you don't have to create any additional account if you have a Google account you just log in with your Google account and go to the console if you click on here it will show all the projects that you have built so I have three projects that I was working on let me uh, exp uh, go into one and I will show you how a project looks like so Facebook page uh, let me click uh, let's open this so it was a project I was doing <coughs> I am doing right now or not I was so as you can see they have the in the left section is this panel in here have all the things that you can do with firebase so authentication is if, uh, if you look you, you can implement phone login and then email password google uh, play games and then facebook twitter github and they have a lot of stuff as you can see it's it's a lot i mean if you try to do this from scratch with like a base, let's say a backend language like node.js or swift or java it will take a million years not a million years but it will like consume your time it will take a lot of time and a lot of code also so it, it's kind of simplify everything and then the database will so fine so i am using all the real time database it takes so as you can see cloud firestore not the real time it's the cloud firestore database and databases this is no school database so if you don't know what the no school database is it's kind of well uh, you have a collection so let's say you want to store a lot of users you have a user collection and then all the users are in here so in my case in here i have accounts so i want to store accounts information and then this uh, these are all the accounts and these are the like values key value pairs these are all json objects and let me show you the real time database the real time database is another database it, it it was the first database that firebase introduced to the <coughs> community so it is basically json data but i prefer the firebase uh, this cloud file store and then storage you i think you have one gigabyte of storage for free and then if you want to move uh, you want to increase the storage you have to pay and then hosting it, it is free hosting is free i think yeah the hosting is free and then you just need to domain connect a domain so the domain is not free you have to like uh, register your own domain on like namecheap or something like that and cloud functions you can read the documentation how this works and machine learning kit so this is pretty much what firebase is firebase um, lets you like build a lot of cool things and the the firebase youtube channel is kind of cool because they uh, show you everything from a to z and you can use let's see <coughs> where you can use firebase so you can use firebase if you're building an android application and ios application and also web application so for web applications you can use firebase with react or angular or view or any, any of the javascript frameworks and you can also like use firebase with node.js any everywhere so web android ios and like unity you can use firebase to store data and manage all of the stuff without worrying about your uh, setting up your database and everything so <coughs> i would recommend firebase if you are doing any kind of project so it's uh, the standard part platform right now to write to, to make apps make uh, cool projects so uh, there was something called parse uh, recently it was developed by facebook by the way firebase is uh, built by google and uh, Yes, that's why I recommend the Firebase to everybody because it's kind of fast because it Google make Firebase and there was another thing there was another like platform like this the, the name was Parse and it is it is available but they are not working on that project right now because Parse is down right now if you, you can use Parse but you need to manage your own servers right now and it is like complexity so firebase is the only tool i know right now that you can use uh, to build app apps so thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video